Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be about how to bless and consecrate, pure, and cleanse. Um, some of the items you see here, I have an athame, um, a bell, things like that. But I will be going through this um, more in detail right now. Set you guys down super quick. Okay, so one of the most common questions and video requests I have is how to bless purify, consecrate, and cleanse a tool or a working area. In this video, I will show you guys some simple ways, three basic ways of how you can consecrate basic tools. Um, and I do have some example items I can show you. So for example, some of the things you guys will see is the incense smoke. You guys probably saw that. Um, I do have a little divination bowl that's full of water and I do have a white candle that is lit. Um, so let's just start and go right into this. First, let's start off with the smoke. Um, people ask me all the time, how do you use smoke to purify and cleanse? It's simple. The smoke is kind of a representation and almost symbolic of lifting the bad and negative up and lifting it up into the universe to where it disperses into nothingness. So a simple way you can do this is you can grab an object right here. I have my athame. And you can simply run it through the smoke. You can simply... Um, talk to the elements, the god and goddess, to help aid you in your ritual here to purify and cleanse. And just simply kind of cut through the smoke. Rotate it all the way around just so you guys can really... Uh, so the smoke basically makes contact with every part of the athame. Uh, while you're doing this, it's also really important, you know, um, that you do invoke the god and goddess and that you do invoke all four elements as well as the spirit, um, basically asking them, um, help me in my aid, in my ritual, in blessing, in purifying, in consecrating um, these items. All negativity will be washed away. All ill intentions will be lifted away. Um, that's one way you can do it. Another way, down here I have some of my tarot cards. This is the um, the Goddess Tarot Card deck. And I showed you guys these in other videos. Um, and this deck is absolutely just gorgeous. I do, I love it. Like, the pictures are just so beautiful. And the art is just fantastic. Um... Another element we're going to be used, that we're going to be using to um, purify and bless this item, for example, is going to be fire. And this can be dangerous if you feel more comfortable passing the tarot cards um, through the smoke, through the deck. You can simply shuffle your deck um, in your hands above the smoke. You can do that as well. Um, I don't recommend using water just simply because that will damage your cards. Um, but if you do use fire, hold it safe enough to wear... Um, the heat can be warmed, but does not burn or melt or distort or basically um, mess up your card in any kind of way. And you need to simply, this is the same thing. Um, this is a little candle that you can probably see. And for example, I'm just going to use one card because it's easier. You can hold it about seven, eight inches above. Um, you know, you can rotate it. You can also, like the smoke, you can shuffle your deck above the flame. Um, and again, evoking the god and goddess, the spirit, as well as the four elements, um, and aiding you in your ritual of purifying. And the last way you can do it, um, let me just find a rock really quick, find a mineral, some lapis. Lapis is good. So let's take this little piece of lapis, and I'll actually bring you guys over here. So you can see what I'm doing. This here is just my little um, divination bowl. It's just full um, of filtered water. And one thing you can do, take your stone. And you can dunk it in there. Or you can just simply and let it sit in there. And while this is happening, you can say um, a simple little prayer, or you can ask the God and Goddess for help in aiding you in doing this. Um, and an earth way you can do this, since we have used three of the four elements, we have used fire and water and smoke. An earth way of doing this is you can simply um, find sand. You can get some sand from a beach or some really finely milled rocks from like riverbeds and you can simply lay your object in that and basically engulf it in that. Shake it off and then you can go through each element or you can just do it one by one. 
So yeah, in today's video, I hope you guys learned something new. I know it's really brief and really simple and easy, but those are three easy ways you guys can bless, purify, consecrate, and cleanse your tools. Um, I will be doing a future video on how to do it for your entire working space, your entire altar, and I will be showing you guys how to cast a circle and how to uncast a circle um, within the future as well. But until then, I wish you all lots of light, love, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Take care.